oh, it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but welcome to A Brief Case of Luxury, where in five-ish minutes or less, I go over key takeaways of the designer bags I own in order to help you make more informed purchasing decisions. So thank you so much for clicking on this video, and I hope you find it helpful. So for today, let's debrief Louis Vuitton's Gaston wearable wallet. Now, when we think wearable wallets, we often think dainty, we think feminine. Some of the more popular ones are the Walks by Chanel, or it seems like everyone, including myself at one point, was trying to get their hands on an Hermes Kelly or Constance to go wallet, which prices have gone up for Kelly to go's, by the way, by like 20%. At the same time, wearable wallets and mini bags in general, since I do consider wearable wallets to fall into that category, are notorious for being more for aesthetics than for function. Now, I'm a practical person, so when I watch videos where people talk about how great their mini bag or wearable wallet is, aside from the fact that it won't fit their phone or their actual wallet or their keys for that matter, I start to question their definition of great. But Louis Vuitton has definitely not been sleeping in this category, and what I particularly love about them is that they have an expansive wearable wallet collection, not just for women, but for men as well, which means double my options. So I have here the Gaston wearable wallet in the monogram Eclipse reverse canvas, and this currently retails for $17.60. So off the bat, let's just acknowledge that for a wearable wallet, this is an amazing size. I know that's partly because it is from the men's collection, but this to me qualifies for a small bag, not a wallet. So it measures 8.7 inches in length, 5.7 inches in height, and 1.8 inches in width. It's marketed as the perfect size for everyday essentials, and they are not wrong. So let's go ahead and see what fits in here. Kleenex chapstick, Tylenol, my hand sani, my sunglasses, a phone charging bank, my phone, my passport, and my super bulky key slash wallet Gucci pouch. Oops, one last thing, and a stain remover wipe. So let's take a look at the inside. As you can see, it's pretty bare bones. It is canvas line, um, but there are no other additional pockets or anything. But hey, it means you get to milk every inch of this real estate in here. So what drew me to this when I saw it in the store? Yes, this was an impulse purchase. I mean, I had no intention of buying anything that day, but it just screamed travel friendly to me. I love the detachable card holder. And if you live in an area where you take public transportation, I think this is so nifty for commuter cards. The website also describes this as ideal for contactless payment methods, which again, screams travel friendly to me. Now it is in Louis Vuitton's durable canvas material, and it's got a really nice, thick, comfortable textile strap for all day wear. Now the strap is removable and it is adjustable. I also like the detailing on the strap. You can see the Louis Vuitton embossing, but I like that the detailing is tone on tone, so it's not too in your face. Ladies, this is part of the men's collection and naturally this is a more masculine bag in case it's not visually apparent, but there's nothing feminine or elegant about it. If you're not someone who is comfortable styling a more masculine bag by that, I mean, personally, I think this would look a little silly with like a really flowery dress, you know? So unlike certain other walks that you can easily dress up or down, there's only dressing down for this bag. So yes, even though its functionality is phenomenal, its styling capacity, is limited in my opinion. Now those are my two big main takeaways for this bag. If you are however looking for something more feminine, Louis Vuitton also has the Felicier Strap and Go for the same price and I've seen it in two different versions. Again, the Felicier Strap and Go is like the feminized version of this bag and still has the same mini pouch attachment to the strap. Now, even though it is the same price, however, keep in mind it is quite a bit smaller than this one. So again, you're not going to be able to fit as much in the women's version. Now this concept of a mini pouch slash card holder was what initially drew me in. Now there are other designer alternatives like this one from Gucci, or if you're wanting a more budget friendly alternative, Coach also has something similar at like a tenth of the price. Now the other thing to consider would be to simply find a strap with a detachable pouch. Hermes is a great example. I know they have the Kelly pocket strap, which alone costs more than this bag here. I'd also be curious to know if anyone has the Kelly pocket belt and if you've ever tried to attach the removable pouch to a bag strap and 
whether or not that worked. I can visualize it in my head, so let me know if you tried. And that's the Louis Vuitton wearable wallet debriefed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you at our next debriefing.